Let's get straight into it. Got some notes, got some stuff. For the viewers, you know, stir your mind up. Let you look at things from a different lens, a broader perspective. And you know, just uh, as I get older, and I continue to observe reality and uh, life and everything it brings and how diverse every situation is and how unique everyone's own experience it is it's it's just it's just fascinating just to even know that me being able to think and to know that I'm thinking a thought that, that shit is just potent just to sit there and ponder on that I'm the thinker thinking something but not to get all woo woo about it <clears throat> um you know let's talk about some things I said question everything and don't be scared to challenge even the new ideas you have came up with because that's the whole point of questioning everything when you question everything I think I think that's the problem with everybody they don't question anything so they think life is what it is but honestly when you question stuff you look for answers and once you look for answers there's more questions that pop up you get what I'm saying I said most people don't know how the vehicle operates which is the body it starts to get interesting when we pass the base which is every human goes through such as eating sleeping working out you know removing waste um and once you go past how the vehicle operates on a deeper level you will start to understand that it moves in an in-depth view when it comes to man and woman. There's a split in there because someone wouldn't be able to say that the uh, the male body is the exact same way and it functions the exact same way on a genetic level as a female body. You get me? So if someone understands that, then you have to understand that there's certain chemicals there's certain thought processes that may alter someone's experience or focal point of focus of thoughts in their mind as they're experiencing like a big thing is um when uh people when men get older and they start losing testosterone and say they notice right they'll get uh, more emotional they'll you know there's studies about this and then they give them like a whole booster or a whole like uh you know injection of supplements of testosterone and then they go right back into being more aggressive and then you know their whole fucking mindset changes they're not thinking about what they used to think when they weren't on it because you know they're older so they're losing that chemical imbalance in there and we always see the effects of it and if testosterone is affecting an old man in a negative way when he doesn't have so much and then when he gets injected with some or it takes you know the supplements for testosterone to boost his body more he goes back into feeling you know like I want to pick up shit and throw it and that, that 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 is a way of living like he's gonna have a different experience of life based on the, the thought processes that his body is almost giving him his mind and if you understand you are a spirit this is your vehicle this is your body it's like if my engine light is on or my gas tank is on e and i don't know where to go pump gas at or what even a oil changes then i'm not going to be able to properly function this vehicle so when we split it down the middle there's certain things say uh, a 
a woman needs that's a different vehicle than a man needs and if you want to put it in another analogy say one was diesel one was on gas one was uh on regular gas one was electric car but they're still they're both cars though but you know they operate a little differently so i go to believe women have the same process as men do when it comes to experiencing reality or the moment is a false idea us men and women have to remove this false idea which really will only happen if you're able to think outside of your perception or perspective <clears throat> a good example would be if i was blind or someone was blind and someone else was deaf i would treat the deaf person differently than i would treat the blind person that doesn't make one better than the other i just understand what they respond to and what they don't so if we're talking about someone being blind right I'm not gonna treat the blind person with visual of, uh, you know, I'm not trying to show them things visually because they're blind. So I'm gonna use my logic to speak to them, to uh, use other objects, touch, you know, listening their ears, smell, my voice, in order to put my message across to them. But if I was talking to or trying to communicate with a deaf person, I would use visual stuff. They can see me. They can see my hand movements. They, they can't obviously hear what I'm saying, but maybe I might draw it out spell it out and it's all different but does that make one of them better th or than the other no i'm treating them both the w the way they just respond and that's what it is so when it comes to men and women we both respond to different things and to uh to treat a man like a woman you're not gonna get a good response you're going to get a negative response or or not the best response you could get from a man and vice versa if i treat a woman like a guy she's not gonna get i'm not gonna get a good response from her and that's like going back to one being death one 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 being able uh to see i just treat them accordingly to what they respond to and you know i don't get why <laughs> it's it's so difficult for people to understand that it's just <laughs> nowadays it's like i'm I'm almost saying like something like blasphemy. <laughs> this shit is retarded. I'm just simply saying, hey yo, if you a fucking guy and you're talking to a guy, he's gonna respond like a guy. That's it. If I talk to a girl, I can't talk to her like a guy because she's not gonna respond like the dude's responding. She's gonna respond like how a female would respond. And based on what I said a little earlier, if there's two vehicles being operated obviously from the outside we can see the vehicles are not the same nothing's the whole bone structure is not the same the organs some of the organs are not the same one got breast the other doesn't one got a vagina the other one got a penis if that's like if that's not enough to show someone that okay it's different y'all got some issues but i said uh it, emotion is something you have to remove when you are trying to understand objective truth so when we're talking about objective truth it's like if i said um you know trees need sunlight that's objective truth whatever i feel whatever i feel subjectively about it doesn't make it right or wrong if i go the sun is evil for uh giving the plants life that's subjective that's my opinion about what the sun function is and what it's always going to do being the sun to a plant so objective truth 
that's why we can't get emotional about shit. When you really want to learn, you know, the facts about life and how life operates to benefit you, you got to put your emotions aside as a man and look at shit objectively. Go, besides my feelings, my belief system, my thoughts, what is the answer? How does something function without me feeling some type of way? And you will, and the better you can do that, the more accurate you will become at figuring out a lot of objective truths. And what you do with that objective truth is going to be based on your subjective feeling, belief system, emotion about whatever it is. I said, understanding intersexual dynamics is, in other words, a way a man can secure his reproduction problems, family problems, sexual offspring problems. It's a part of his life because you are still the one in charge if you win or you're still the one in charge if you lose in that area of life. A man should use logic in all areas of his life mixed with a little faith in God, which brings hope into the path of the unknown. Yes, you have to logically or you have to logic your way to procreation and pleasure. And, um, you know, I'll end it there with my notes, but that's what I have so far. We could touch up on it a little bit. The same thing I see if I'm playing a video game or I'm playing sports. How do you become better at a sport? Well, you have to practice. You have to, you know, learn the uh, mechanics of it. You have to understand uh, the rules to the game. You have to understand uh, what wins and what doesn't. You know, I skateboard a lot. There's rules to skateboarding. But at the same time, it looks like there's no rules. It looks like there's no uh, laws to skating because there's no rule book. No one's in there. There's not a ref as I'm skateboarding. There's no ref at the skate park going flag on the play. You didn't pop your board correctly. You didn't uh, ollie correctly or you didn't your 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 wheels are not in the right shape. Your board is too big to uh, for you to be skating at the skate park like that. There's no rules. But when we're trying to learn the physics of skateboarding, there are rules. There's, you know, there's laws to it and it's invisible. And when I say when it's invisible, I'm literally describing like if you don't have the right balance and you lean too far in front of your board, the board's going to shoot out behind you. If you lean too back of the board, the board will shoot out in front of you. If you don't jump high enough, high enough and you don't learn the basic trick called the ollie you're not going to be able to hop onto objects at the park you know so that's how i see intersexual dynamics when we're dealing with uh you know the opposite sex if you want to understand man a man more you would have to objectively ask yourself well what what does he respond to how does he work and if you want to understand woman the same way you go okay this girl is not like me at all. Yes, we, we, we both have minds, a spirit, a body, heart. Yes, that's all there. We both, we all have that. But at the end of the day, she got a whole different vehicle. She got a whole different design. She got a whole different um, ongoing perception about what's happening constantly in the moment and that you can't deny i can't deny and if you don't think that's not happening <laughs> then you're not looking closely enough you feel me because what makes her choose guy a versus guy b if you listen to her closely enough whoever that female is she will tell you how she is making decisions based off her best observations of what is given to her and and when you break it from that scale or that spectrum you're able to have like a bird's eye view and you could go ah most women there's exceptions I'm not saying there's not exceptions, but most women look for this. They're actually pointing to these type of qualities or or this group 
way of thinking, which is mostly resources and protection. That's what women look for. But then when you go for men and you have that bird's eye view and you go, most men, when they choose a, a female partner, either girl A, B, or whoever, we're going, ah, hold on. The male is not necessarily looking for protection and resources from a woman. So that must mean as he's walking on this planet operating, he must be looking at the opposite sex differently as we're simultaneously together walking this earth. And when you can figure that out, you can now, without emotion, objectively look at some truths behind the intersexual dynamics between male and woman. And there's a play to it. There's like, uh, there's roles to it. There's like a, a it's like, it's like a, a dance. There's a dance happening to it. And this dance is always going to happen. It's not not going to happen. Because again, I'm stuck in this vehicle as a man. And that girl's stuck in that vehicle as a woman. And based on genetics, her body's going to push her to focus on these type of values. And my body's gonna push me to focus on these type of values. That's where you get, uh, you know, this game at and based on as a man because at the at, at the end of the day i look at men as you know uh we're all competing you know it's almost like a friendly competition we're all competing to be the best version of ourselves uh you know people take it may take that the wrong way or go oh, what do you mean we're, we're we're still all competing because you're competing to make yourself the best version of yourself so you can get the best you know things of, of, of life that's just what it is and the men that don't work on themselves tend not to get the best things and the men that actually try hard tend to get the best the better things um so when it comes to sex you know we're not taught at all to look at sex in 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 this lens where you can learn about it you can win in it you can dominate in it you can um objectively understand it like I was given that example with skateboarding you can understand the mechanics behind it and when you understand the uh, mechanics behind it it depends on you as the male or as a female what you want to do with that information the information itself is not bad but what you do with it it just depends on you there's no right or wrong I, I mean there, I, I personally think there is a right or wrong. You know, there's morals and stuff. But at the end of the day, I'm not here to tell anybody that. I'm just here to be the messenger and say, hey, these, this is what we respond to. And this is what we don't. And this is what, you know, works. And this is what doesn't. And this is what, you know, this sex looks for. And this one, this is what this sex looks for. And um, we all want sex we all want a mate we all want to date we all want a girlfriend we all want a husband we all want a wife we we want these things we want women men want women women want men okay there's something in the middle called figure it out that your parents don't teach you about no one teaches you about because it's a hidden language it's hard to understand it because it's always happening in the moment and I think women are better at understanding this hidden language because they have a better emotional intelligence to this craft or this dance or this play. Um, and men are just nonchalant and they just go, I get what I get and I don't what I don't. So I'm going to just, who cares? If I win, I win. If I lose, I lose. But nah, you can, you know, you can dissect it logically and you can win. So, yes, you have to logic your way to procreation. And that's my uh, video for today. So if you're still watching, 
and you a man, yes, you have to learn a lot because a woman expects that. A woman expects you to know how to fuck, to know how to have sex. A woman expects you to know how to <clears throat> provide. A woman expects you to know how to talk, be charming, be responsible, uh, be manly, be assertive, make decisions. Uh, <laughs> women expect a lot from us men and us men don't think we should be really working hard to reach those expectations but it, what I'm telling you is don't reach them just for her reach them for yourself so you can you can feel good about leading your own life and then eventually you will lead others lives in a positive way I'm not you know in a positive way wouldn't you want your woman to look at you and admire you and go this dude is f he's just intelligent everything that comes out his mouth like it just I'm secure I feel secure with him he just I just know he knows what he's doing and I don't have a problem with letting my man lead that's something every man should be working towards and getting that response from their lady that's that 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 is one of the best response to know that your girl trusts you in 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 decision making with her own life it's some powerful shit because imagine having kids do you want uh, your kids to be like, ah, oh, you know, daddy's stupid? Or do you want to go, oh, daddy, yeah, dad knows everything. I, my dad's strong. My dad's Superman to me type shit, right? So um, that's why you have to work every day and figure out what you can figure out. You don't need to figure out all at once. Just every day, figure something out. Work logically understand yourself logically understand how this world operates and based on this uh information day <laughs> yeah yeah most people young people right now younger than me you have it sweet we live in a day and era where you can master anything by just googling it at one point you had to fly across the country the globe to find that one teacher that became an expert at whatever you wanted to become an expert so, you know, we live in a different era and um, like I said, keep learning.